Your bold predictions for the grand final, Wade? I'm going to go out on a limb and backing up my Sunday salute of Brian Tall, I'm going to say the first winger to win the Clive Churchill. I just think he's unbelievable. I love him, the way he plays. Um, there's no doubt, you know, the middle part of the field is, is the hardest place in the NRL, defensively and offensively. But you go and ask all Penrith's middle forwards um, how they feel about Brian Tall when he carries out of the backfield and just churns through this work. Uh, and, and they would say he's, he's up there with their most valuable, valuable players. He's just brilliant. Uh, he adds so much to this team. And uh, I don't know if it's too far-fetched, but if anyone can do it, Brian can. The fact is, Taylor May wasn't playing either. So Taylor normally runs for a 200, 250 yeah. metres. So that meant Brian had to do the lion's share of his work. Uh, Charlie Stain's not um, notable for bringing the ball out of trouble and doing all that metres through the middle. So, you know, he was... It was an added burden, and on top of that, the fullback, he just made about 50 runs. So. As he does. <laughs> Every time you turn around, you just heard his name. Edwards again yeah. gets the ball. Oh, well, Edwards has made a tackle. That's it. So you're predicting Brian Toto for Clive Churchill, but, Joey, you're predicting... I think Dylan Edwards. I've been saying that to mates for weeks and weeks and weeks. <laughs> <laughs> because, I, look, I think they're going to win Penrith. And to get any value, look, Nathan Cleary is probably paying a dollar fifty to be Clive Churchill, but... Even before last night's performance, which last night he actually played better than Nathan, which is saying something. He was everywhere, just gets through so much work with the ball and without the ball, some of his defence. And he just plays like the modern-day fullback, like Tedesco, look at that, makes the tackle, gets back there and cover. It's like Tedesco, they're playing fullback, but they're playing in the front line like a forward. They can play halfback. He's in autopilot. Yeah. yeah, the he, fitness level is incredible. Mm. Yeah, once the whistle yeah. goes, he's just in autopilot. He's got the game downloaded in his head and he's got a good understanding of it. Mm. It's a good way to look at him and play. If you're a young bloke, instead of looking at someone like a Latrell or and go, geez, I'd love to be Latrell when it's pretty hard to be like Latrell mm. and some of those blokes who've got those great skills where if you're him, you just go, Well, if I get really fit and just concentrate on what's happening and, you know, mm. understand the game plan and that I can be really involved in a team from fullback, so he gives nearly every young, fit kid a really good chance of playing footy. Well, if you're Latrell, you go and watch Dylan Edwards. Mm. You go and watch him live, or you watch the Eagle cam and, and watch the positional play that he puts himself in. And because if Latrell plays like that, he gives himself more opportunity to outlay his talent. Mm. He must the the fitness level that he puts in in the preseason. Oh, they they, yeah, he's the, already records. And he's it. just you can yeah. just he's just non-stop. Watching him do the um, the beep test, he just keeps on going, keeps on Is going. He? Yeah, he's uh, yeah certainly very fit. Um, Billy, <laughs> what's your bold prediction for the grand final? I think Isaac Tungle will score the first try, and it's not just plucked out of the air. I've I've got a bit of a theory behind it. You got Cleary and Luai that pull the strings. Now this is the first try. In last year's grand final, it goes Cleary to Luai, and then the back rower runs a block for the left centre. Again, first try in the origin this year. Exact same play. So the big games, they're going with their big play. You've just run on yourself. Brad Arthur's going to be watching that now, and you'll have the defence. <laughs> You're welcome, Brad. You <laughs> You're welcome, Brad. <laughs> first shot. Checks in the mail. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> sure. <laughs> Moses tackling him, Billy Army like that. Uh, yeah. Give it a Billy Army. Uh, Freddie, what are you predicting for next Sunday? Well, if you remember their last game, Parramatta were in the game up to the 60th minute. The game before that it was close. Every game of these two teams normally is close. I'm going Golden Point. Mm. Last one was 2015. Yep. Yeah, the Cowboys, Cowboys and the Broncos. Well, the Panthers, they've got a much better Golden Point record than what the uh, Eels do. In uh, Penrith's 19 Golden Points so far this season, they've won 11 of them. Um, the Eels, 17, and they've only won six. Yeah, who's, so been, who's been cuddling Mido now? <laughs> 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 that was my own research. <laughs>